Taro here with Monarch Training. In this video, we're going to cover a whole bunch of different bench variations that you might see come up uh, in a program from us or anywhere else. Um, also have include on some of them uh, why to do them um, and kind of their uses. Uh, let us know what you think. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, that's it. All right, so first up, we got pause bench. This is what you'll see in competition and a powerlifting meet uh, for this as you come down, just pause at your chest, make sure you're staying tight and you're not just relaxing at the bottom. You pull that bar down to you and pause at your chest. Don't let it sink in. We can extend this further to a, another variation with a long pause. Uh, for this, we would just be holding it for a set amount of time. For a typical pause uh, bench in competition, you just have to show that there's no movement. So it could be very short for a long pause is just spend more time and really have uh, as much control as possible in that pause. Uh, next up, close grip, a very popular bench variation. This one will kind of uh, focus it a little bit more on your triceps than it would be on your pecs. Uh, for this one, place your hands at about shoulder width and make sure you're keeping your elbows in close. I've seen a lot of people go way too close with their hands or they let their elbows flare out too much. Keep those elbows in, keep those hands right outside of the ribs. Next up, wide grip. If we do wide grip bench press, it's just a little bit wider than our normal competition bench. Wherever we would normally bench, just go like another uh, hands width outside of that. Spoto press. So uh, this one, uh, you come down and you kind of pause it about an inch off your chest. Uh, it sounds weird to kind of advocate for a movement where you do partial range of motion. You don't go down all the way. But for this, the focus here with that, a lot of people on bench don't control it on the way down. You'll see them get to the bottom and kind of accelerate and let it bounce off their chest. This is a good one to work on uh, really controlling it on the way down. Uh, double pause bench is... Uh, pause at the bottom and then you come up to about where your sticking point would be just to spend a little bit more time there and then extend up from there so this one will give you more time under tension in that uh, sticking point and also learn how to kind of generate from there dumbbell bench it's just a nice accessory movement uh, you get a little bit further range of motion uh, and then also having to control the dumbbells where uh, individually with each arm uh, just give you a little bit uh, different kind of stimulus. Incline bench, uh, kind of halfway in between that bench press and the strict press. Uh, pretty much uh, come down, touch uh, what would be the highest point-ish uh, towards the top of your chest, and then come up from there. This one will work a little bit more, the upper pec and the uh, shoulders floor press uh, for this one it's a, again another kind of partial range of motion we'll come down till our elbows are touching the ground our arms will be at a 90 degree angle and then we'll extend up from there rack press one of my favorite uh, bench variations what I like to do is set up boxes or safeties or something like that so that the weights will be uh, so the the bar will be stopped at where your sticking point would be and then you release tension find tension and press from there control on the way down release find tension go what's important with this one uh, is we're not staying tight we're releasing if you've done hand release push-ups things like that it's essentially the same thing but this one will really work on generating that force from the sticking point so it becomes a strong point uh, and you'll be able to really accelerate through the finish of the bench press. So that's it on bench variations. Uh, there's a bunch more that you could be doing. This is just some that uh, we wanted to cover. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what you think. And have fun bench pressing.